It's time for the truth. I am here to bring you the most hopefully unbiased video that you've ever seen on smart telescopes and are they for nothing? Don't get it. It's just the worst thing you could ever do with your money. Well, let's start. So why are there so many channels out there, so many people that are super into space, astronomy, astrophotography, taking out videos on how terrible smart telescopes are, how it's just the worst thing ever to get any smart telescope, or even the C star S50 is the worst telescope that they've ever seen. Now, what's really interesting about these videos is that these are individuals that sometimes don't even have a C star with them in front of them or on a table or using it or showing that they've at least tried it. Some of those videos to me are very interesting because then what can they bring to us? What can they tell us about it? Perhaps nothing. And sometimes what you have to understand is that some people who are completely against smart telescopes is because they might have another self-interest, right? Maybe their channel is all about the traditional rigs, the spending thousands and thousands of dollars that they've spent on traditional telescopes. Hey, and I'm all for it. This is why I'm telling you that this is going to be unbiased because guess what? I have traditional telescope. I have spent thousands of dollars on trying to improve this already on just buying it from the beginning and then adding more and more and more things to it. And you know what? The truth is, I love both. What do I mean by that? I love traditional telescopes and I love my smart telescope. I love the C-Star S50 and I love all kinds of smart telescopes because what you need to understand is that the whole point of why smart telescopes were invented is to not just get more and more people hyped about space, not just to get more people to get into this particular hobby, right? But it was also built for professionals. Why do I say that? It's because astronomers, professionals, are actually saying that now their sea star is their go-to telescope because it's just so easy. Now, of course, of course, of course, don't get me wrong, it's never going to replace a $2,000 telescope, a $5,000, $6,000, $8,000 rig that you make yourself, right? It will never do that, right? However, the whole point, once again, of smart telescopes, of the C-Star S50, is what I like to call instant gratification. Now, why do I say that? Well, because the setup is super quick. Imagine in less than five minutes, you're looking at other galaxies, other star systems, you're looking at nebula, you're looking at, at deep, deep space. And I'm not saying that you can't look at that through a traditional telescope, but I can't grab my regular Celestron telescope and say, hey, let's go to Andromeda galaxy and let me look at it right away really quick through the eyepiece. It's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen, right? I have to attach a camera to it and do that whole process of, you know, stacking the images, get all the images out to a PC, process them, et cetera, et cetera. And you know what? For some people, that's a lot of fun. And yeah, the whole thing about doing polar alignment, the star alignment, you know, it takes a long time to set it up, pulling out your rig, right? And all these steps that come into getting good, amazing images it takes a long time. And some people are used to that. And some people are really good at it. And, and it's fun. It is fun. There's something incredible about learning even that before you get into the easy stuff, right? But there's people who just want to, hey, I want to look at a galaxy like, like right now. I don't want to wait. I want to see it immediately. And you can do that with smart telescopes. It's incredible. It's incredible. So I can look at it at the palm on the palm of my hand, right? With my phone, the app is connected to a smart telescope and I can immediately start looking at the moon, uh, any deep space object, a nebula, immediately. I don't have to wait hours or anything like that. And that's why it's instant. That's the whole point. That's the whole point, right? To make it easy. It becomes for a lot of people there primary go-to telescope because of that. So what we need to understand is that we are now in the 21st century, right? And what these telescopes do now is that they use algorithms. They use AI to get your images better and better and better, to stack images that have no 
uh, satellite trails or star trails. And that's what's amazing about these very small but mighty telescopes. And to be honest, they're only moving on up, right? They're only moving on up. They're only getting better and better. Remember when the iPhone first came out or smartphones? First, before that, they were just flip phones, right? And everybody was, was like, wow, well, they were amazed by it, right? But what happened? P things got better and better. Maybe they thought the iPhones were going to fail. Maybe they couldn't get any better or I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to deal with that technology. Like, what is that? I want I want to stay the old school. I want to stay with the flip phone, right? But you, you have to realize things will always continue to improve. These smart telescopes are getting better and better because right now, all those companies that have already produced smart telescopes, guess what? And they've already said it. They're working on other models, better models, better lenses, better apertures, right? Better focal length, right? And who knows if those will get to be as incredible as your traditional where they can make one with the lens that's huge, right? And the images will be even better and better. And like I'm saying, of course, your images aren't going to be uh, the best thing you've ever seen. But to some people, and even to me that I'm used to traditional telescopes, when I was first using a smart telescope, in particular this one, the C-Star S50, to me, it was some of the most beautiful, touching, moving images that I had ever seen, even though I was blown away by what my regular telescope could do. So there's something about that quick setup, the grab and go. And some people are saying, don't get them now, wait till they get better. But you know what? Get them now, learn how to use them now, right? That's what you want. And by the time the even better and better models come out, you're gonna be a pro, right? So uh, think about it. Think about this is the future, smart telescopes. Some people get disappointed because they're like, it's not fair that people are starting on smart telescopes and they don't get to do all that hard work that I did with uh, you know, having to set up my traditional rig and spend thousand dollars. Well, you know, to each his own and, and that's okay. You can learn to do both if you'd like. But for a lot of people, this has become, and like I said, even professionals, even astronomers, they are using now even more than before these smart telescopes because they want a little buddy next to them that's just easy to use and immediately instant gratification. Wow, I can see a galaxy right away. And not only that, but have you ever tried? You can mirror you can mirror then your image from your tablet to your TV and see it even bigger and show your family and friends. It doesn't have to be all private just for you or having to have people come in and look through an eyepiece, which that is fun too. But the cool thing is I can have images as big as I want. If I want them on my phone, tiny, just for me, all good. If I want them bigger, I can see those images bigger on a tablet. If I want them on a TV, I can then mirror it to a TV at the wink of an eye so that's what people need to understand is what these smart telescopes or who it was designed for and i don't want to say it was just for one particular type of person it's really for all of us all of us that just want an easy setup and all of us who just want to have fun because believe me this is way more than just a toy and all the images that i'm pulling up here for you to see that i've done with this telescope Thousands and thousands of people are doing this from the comfort of their own home, right? Sometimes you don't even have to stand or stay outside with your telescope. Sometimes people stay outside with the traditional rigs, right? Because you're going to look at it through the eyepiece if you don't have it hooked up to a computer and things like that. But with this, you can leave it outside all night for eight hours, six hours, right? As long as the battery will last. And in the morning, wake up and see all your pictures and it's okay. Or you can look at it while you're having dinner and it's just right there on your tablet for your you and your family to look at or on your phone. It's just absolutely incredible. So what's your take on it? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. What is the best telescope out there? Is it a traditional? Is it a smart telescope?